Hello class, good morning. So let's start. Uh, before we start, of course, let's start with a prayer. We'll okay class, so we are now in week 7. Okay, so next meeting, last lesson natin, and then mga activities. Okay, so our topic, okay, our topic for today is to determine images, ideas that are explicitly used to influence the viewers or influence you. Okay, we have point of view and propaganda. Okay, our objectives are you will be able to determine the images, the ideas that are okay, uh, explicitly, uh, explicitly used to influence you by using the point of view and propaganda. And eventually, you will be able to create your own propaganda. All right, class. Last time we talked about stereotypes, right? So, who can tell me what is a stereotype or what is a stereotype when we say stereotyping we are what we are doing we are judging the people po. all right correct nika we are labeling or judging people based on the characteristics of group of people religions diba? so what is stereotype of course let's have a short review it is an overgeneralization or you are general, generalizing everyone that have the same characteristic of a group of people, a country or region. Right? But it is partly true and partly false because it is impossible to know everyone. All right. Write yes if it is a stereotype and no if it's not. Write it in your notebook. Okay. Number one, people... Who wear glasses are smart? Yes or no? Use your notebook class. Next. All doctors are rich. Next. Tagaytay is a beautiful tourist spot. All tall people are good basketball players. Next. Okay, that's it. So let's check your work. Let's see. I hope you all got uh, perfect because this is the easiest review we've ever done. People who wear glasses, this is a yes. Okay. Number one is yes. Number two, it's all doctors are rich. Yes. This is a stereotype. Tagaytay is a beautiful tourist spot. It's a no. It's not a stereotype. And this is a stereotype. Okay. You can type your score. 444. Four, four. Okay. So I guess you are all very good in stereotyping. Right. Good job. So let's go now to our main topic. So I have a question here. Have you tried to convince someone to do something for you or make someone believe in you? Have you tried to convince, class, to convince someone? To do something for you or make some uh, or make someone believe in you that's a yes or no question class you can raise your hand class okay and how did you do it see no see rashid rashid yes rashid turn on your mic rashid yes po mom Okay, nag-convince ka na ng isang tao na gawin ito para sa'yo at maniwala sa kwento mo. So, paano mo ginawa yun, Rashid? Can you share it with us? How did you do it? Naniwala ba siya sa'yo? Na-convince mo ba siya? Na-convince naman po. Naniwala po siya dun sa may kwento mo. Yung mga pinsan ko po, ma'am. Pinsan po ko na kwentoan ko siya. Anong niniwala naman po. Mm -hmm. How about yung ginawa nila for you? Ano ba may pinapagawa ka para sa kanila? Na-convince mo ba silang gawin para sa'yo? For example, yes, invite Oh, sige. Ano yung ginawa nila para sa iyo? Yung makikipaglaro lang po, ma'am. Ah, gusto nila, uh, ni kino-convince mo sila to play with you. Tapos na-convince mo sila. Paano mo sila na-convince na makipaglaro sa iyo? Na lang, ma'am, sabi ko tara, bike tayo, laro tayo dun sa may puno, ganun lang po. Okay. So class, we are going to talk about propaganda. What is a propaganda? Okay. 
and the types of propaganda that you might use or you will be able to use in convincing, okay? Or to make people believe in you, pwede niyo magamit, okay? So first, we start with point of view. Okay, iba naman to class dun sa point of view ng narating a story, ah. When, ah, uh, ito naman sa viewing point, sa topic natin today, point of view is your opinions, okay? Your own opinion, your own perspective o in what you see or read. Yung sarili mong opinion o perspective mo sa nabasa mo or napanood mo, Okay? What opinions or feelings do you usually express when you watch your favorite programs on TV? Do you have TV programs or do you have favorite TV programs? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sige, example, what is it? Jaren May. Maybe like, ma'am, yung parang mga cartoon shows po sa TV. Mga cartoon shows. Okay, kapag nanonood ka, minsan may mga emotions ka ba? May mga feelings ka ba about what you watch? Yes, ma'am, ma'am. Example, anong an eksena? Ano po ma'am, parang kung pag may maganda, parang may maganda po nangyayari, I feel amazed po. Alright, so those are your opinions or feelings. Okay, have you experienced the feelings of happiness or sadness towards particular show? For example, ako, I'm watching, kunyari ako, I'm watching, ang sayo ay akin. Sometimes you feel happy, sometimes you are sad because of what you see in that particular show, di ba? Okay, these feelings and or opinions that one expresses on particular materials like shows, pictures are known as viewpoints or point of view, okay? O, naapektuhan tayo, di ba? Kapag meron tayong nakikita, papanood, naririnig, di ba? Okay, point of view or viewpoint, also known as viewpoint, it refers to someone's perspective or opinion of a certain thing. Okay, sabi nga nila, things are meaningless without you giving meaning to it. Diba? Kung hindi mo naman bibigyan ng meaning yung nakita mo, yung napanood mo, eh, wala namang meaning yun, diba? So, it's you give meaning to it. Okay, it is the standpoint of a person on a particular thing that he saw or read or experienced. Standpoint mo yun. Ikaw, the way you think, the way you see that, sa'yo yun, okay? That's yours. Iba, yung, iba naman yung point of view ni, ni Rashid kay Jaren. Iba rin yung point of view ni Teacher Eva sa point of view ng ibang teacher. Ganun yun. So, sometimes we have the same point of view and most of the time, we don't have the same point of view. Okay, what is your point of view in these pictures? Okay, when you see this picture, seeing this picture, class, what comes to your mind? Anyone, class? Ano pong pasok sa isip nyo? Sige, Rashid. Rashid, yes. People go, ano, getting crushed in the crush bin, eating, ay, not enough food po, and getting money. Okay, sige. That's your point of view. And then I saw... Uh, somebody says poverty. Si Del Pozo said, nakakaawa sila. Why they are nakakaawa, Del Pozo? Sadness. Why do you think they are nakakaawa? Because they have nothing to eat. Alright, so... They have nothing to eat and they also have no place to stay. Agad-agad, mm -hmm. when you see images, meron ka kaagad reaction, meron ka kaagad point of view, di ba? May feelings ka kaagad, may emotions ka. Alright? So, do, your ano, answers are correct. The first picture is unprivileged children. So, syempre, when you see these people, you are always, ano, you are always uh, thinking that you are blessed, di ba, compared to them. So, dapat ganun tayo palagi. Be grateful. Malnutrition, kasi hindi naman siya nakakakain. And poverty. Those are the most common, ano, point of view na pwede mong maisip, but your answers are all correct. What about this one? What is your point of view in this uh, ano, pictures? Na pwede nyo maisip dyan? So life, hope, peace, new beginning, growth, yes. Okay, next. What is your point of view in this picture? A and B. Which family do you think? Sino? Jasly? Apo. Okay, Jasly, which family do you think has good relationship with one another? 
Mm, sa letter B po, kasi po, masaya po silang kumakain. Okay, masaya silang kumakain. And which one is not, Jasly? Yung letter A po, kasi para po may nakasimangot po, tapos yung father po is nagla-laptop po, so hindi po siya nakafocus kumakain po. Mm -hmm. What about the children and the mommy? Ano po, parang nakasimangot po yung isang bata o nalulungkot po. Don't you see the gadgets? They are also busy. Oh, po sila. Busy po sila. Kaya wala, hindi po sila nakapag-bonding. Uh -huh. And the mommies, I think the mommies arguing with the daddy. Okay. So, see? Meron kayo kaagad stand sa mga nakikita nyo. Okay. What about this? What is your point of view in these two pictures? Letter A muna tayo. Let's start with letter A. Describe your feelings when you saw this picture. Letter A. Tingnan nyo. Kilit po, ma'am. Ending. Sige, kilit. Le ano po, sinisira po nila yung lugar na letter liwa na... Oh, sige, letter A muna tayo, kilit. Sa letter A muna. Okay po. Yung forest po. Tapos po, mayroon po, mayroon po sila ginagawang daana na dapat po forest lang para po Para po mga kapag po bumagyo, hindi po masipsip po naman po no, yung, yung, mga, yung mga tubig, baka po bumaha. Tapos po yung mga tao naman, ginagawa nila ng mga daanan, ganun. Kaya po mas lalo po nasisira yung mga, yung lugar na yun. Ah, oh, sige. That's, ano, picture A or B? A po. What about picture B? Can you describe your feelings when you see the picture B? Si Micaela, Micaela. Pinaputol po nila yung mga puno, tapos hindi po nila pinapalitan. Mm -mm. Deforestation, yes. Those are correct. Nawala na po ng tahanan yung mga hayop. Mm -mm. Yes, correct. So this is an example, okay? This forest looks like a peaceful place to live away from the busy and chaotic city. It is a simple yet a very relaxing place that can give comfort or you can say it is one of God's amazing creation that nothing like any man-made can ever surpass or can be better. And the next picture, it makes me sad. It shows us how cruel humans can be, how some of us can be so greedy and ungrateful. Alam niyo naman yung big help ng mga trees, di ba? Next. So now, okay, we're done with Point of view, so very easy lang naman ang point of view, eh. your standpoint in what you see, what you watch, what you read, di ba? So propaganda naman tayo. Let's talk about propaganda, its meaning, definition, and the types of propaganda that uh, we could use. Okay, what is propaganda? It is the term for one to many communications that promotes point of view or political causes. So, napapromote siya ng point of view. Alam niyo na yung point of view. Na-discuss na natin. Okay. First, it is used to manipulate the reader's or viewer's reason and emotions. Ibig sabihin, propaganda can manipulate your minds. So, kaya natin to pag-aaralan para alam niyo how to balance Next, it is used to persuade to believe in something or someone by an item or vote a certain way. Okay. It will going to convince you para, ano, para bilin mo yung isang bagay or do a certain thing. Okay, next, used to influence, of, uh, used to influence opinions, emotions, attitudes, or behavior. Ito yung mga nagagawa sa atin ng mga propaganda. So, be very critical class, ha? So, you have to listen very well para alam mo later on kung ano ang effect nito sa'yo. Okay? So, yung, yung opinion mo, yung emotions mo, pwede niyang ano, mamanipulate, ha? At maimpluensyahan niya, mabago niya. Nang di mo alam sometimes. Okay? Ang propaganda is used to spread the ideas that further cause political, commercial, or religious. Di ba? Ginagamit siya para spread yung idea ng ng political, sa mga commercial advertisement, or sa religious, and sa citizens. So, why is it important to know about propaganda? As I'm telling you, I've been telling you na, knowing what propaganda is will help you know when you are or 
are not getting honest information. Dapat, as young as now, alam mo kaagad na, ah, this is not true. Ah, this is not honest information. So, alam mong maging critical na bata. Mag-criticize. You balance the truth. Baka mama sinabi niya lang without thinking na fake pala yun. Yung mga fake news niya kumakalat. Naniwala ka agad. Tapos, in-spread mo na siya. So, dapat ngayon pa lang, lalo na ngayon, we're using, ano, di ba? Internet, mabilis kumalat at mabilis ka ring na ma-manipulate. Alright. So, there are eight types of propaganda. Okay? Or propaganda devices. Bandwagon or bandwagon. That's number one. Number two, plain fox. Number three, testimonial. Four, name calling. Five, glittering generality. Six, technical jargon. And seven, powerful words and appeal to fear. Number eight. So there are eight. Yan. Let's talk about it one by one para mas lalo natin siya to understand it. Okay, so again, ah, propaganda is the dissemination of information or spreading of information to everyone, to the viewers, to the citizen, okay? These are facts, arguments, rumors, truths, or lies to influence public opinion para, para kayo ay ano, makapag-isip din, maging critical, okay? It influence people to persuade, believe, or buy or do something, okay? So, pwede niya siyang gamitin, pero sana in a good way, okay? So, commonly used in advertisement or advertisement. Uh, any pronunciation, okay? That's correct. Sa mga advertise, advertisement, we have text, passages, di ba? Alam niya naman, can, it can be watched also, read, or heard. Okay, number one class, bandwagon. What is bandwagon? And paano ito nangyayari? So, narinig niyo na ba ito, class, before pa? Alam niyo na talaga kung ano ibig sabihin ng bandwagon? Di pa po, ma'am. Okay. So, this is a type of propaganda that you are attracted and convinced to use a product or join an activity because everyone is doing it. Dahil ba lahat kumakain sa McDonald's? You will also go to McDonald's because everyone is eating there. Alam niyo ba napapansin niyo pag punong-puno yung Jollibee, sinisiksik pa natin yung sarili natin sa loob kahit punong-puno na dahil ah, gusto natin. Nandun lahat, dun din tayo. Ay marami kumakain dito, dito tayo. Or kahit sa ang restaurant, ibig sabihin ka agad na pag maraming tao dun, ibig sabihin masarap yung pagkain. Sometimes pwede, di ba? nag stereotyping tayo. All right. So pag balahat ng katulad ng mga lalaki class ha. Uh, makakita lang sila ng, may makita lang sila mga boys na naka-earrings. Akala nila, gagayahin na rin nila. Lahat na sila mag earrings na kahit di naman accepted sa sa ibang tao or sa society, di ba? Pero ngayon, parang normal na siya. Okay, don't be the only one to miss out this incredible offer. So, punta ka naman. Tatry mo naman yung offer. So, bandwagon yon if ano, you are convinced to use the product or join an activity because everyone is doing it. Yun lang naman ang bandwagon. Kayo, class. It is, it's just because everyone is using it, gagamitin mo na rin. Dahil ba lahat ay gumagamit ng pampaputi, magpapaputi ka na rin kahit ayaw mo naman. Next, we have number two, plain fox. No, because it may be bad to our health. Okay, that's your standpoint. That is your point of view. Kaya nga natin yan pinag-aaralan para mas lalo kayong maging critical and knowledgeable what you believe. Okay, para alam nyo kung ano yung standpoint nyo. Okay, plain fox uses ordinary people. Kaya nga plain ni, pag sinabi mga plain, no, ordinary lang na tao. Uses ordinary people as endorser to show that the product is being used by usual persons. Okay, how a particular product or service brought value to a regular human being like us. Ngayari. Example la. This is an opposite of testimonial. Sa testimonial propaganda class, later, madidiscuss natin. Mga celebrity ang nag endorse Dito naman sa plain fox, mga, ano lang, ordinary people lang. Okay, mga Juan de la Cruz. For example, yung Ariel, may commercial na 
yung ordinary people lang yung gumagamit. Meron namang commercial na pang rich people yung gumagamit, di ba? Kasi minsan, syempre, sinishift nila yung idea para lahat makuha nila, makonvince nila, mapersuade nila. Okay? Ito, kumakain ng lucky me. Lucky me noodles. O, di ba? Pang pinapakita nila na pang masa yung lucky me noodles. Tapos meron din namang uh, si Sharon Cuneta, lucky me ang ini-endorse niya. So, ibig sabihin, pwede rin palang pang mga rich people. Na ganun. Okay, para sa lahat. Okay, testimonial. A famous person or celebrity endorses the product to give testimony and influence the people. You are convinced to use the product because it is endorsed or confirmed by a well-known personality. Testimonial yun. Alimbawa, yung product na lotion, na whitening lotion. Okay? Famous celebrity person, si Marian Rivera ang, ang endorser. Okay, siya ang nag endorse nagte-testify na yung whitening lotion na yun ay sobrang mag mabilis makapagpaputi. Siyempre, na-convince ka. Aside sa very like mo si Marian, nakita mo na ang puti na nga ni Marian, akala mo naman, it's true agad na nakakapagpaputi. Don't you know na talaga namang maputi si Marian Rivera? Eh, kaya nga siya kinuhang endorser ng pampaputi kasi maputi na talaga siya. So, ngayon, mapapersuade ka, mamanipulate yung mind mo na I will use this product kasi mabilis mo muti. Tina mo si Maria na puti-puti na. Yeah, because she's maputi naman talaga. So, dun pa lang class, you have to be critical agad. Na, kaya mo binibili, is it because totoo kaya, honest yung information or pinapersuade ka lang? Okay? Testimonial yan na mga celebrity ang endorser or well-known personalities. Kapag plain po, Fox, ano, mga mga ordinary people lang po yung nag endorse Very good. Just be sana. Ordinary people. Oh, for example, ito, ice cream. O, oh, yan. Uh, ano to? Jollibee. Mga ang nag endorse Mga celebrity. Well-known people. Okay? Next. Name calling. Ito, name calling or stereotyping. This is a type of propaganda device that persuades you to avail the product or services because of the negative image it creates against another product or service. When we say name-calling class, you are attacking directly the another opponent. Yung isang ano, ito, sample. Yung isang brand, ina-attack mo siya directly. So, halimbawa, si Real, Real Lechon Manok, sabi niya, mas masarap pag may sauce. Si Chocks to go naman sa commercial niya, sabi niya, masarap kahit walang sauce. Tapos si Real, mas masarap pag may sauce. O, ba? So, they are attacking each other. etong si ano, Burger King. Sino ba ang may favorite sa Burger King? Sino ang may favorite sa McDonald's? Alright. Ito, itong dalawang to, they are attacking. Anong matawag natin dito? Name calling. Tama ba ako? Oh, di ba? Name calling or stereotyping. Name calling. Hmm, seems more like medium Mac, sabi niya. Kasi yung Big Mac nila, ganto lang. Yung Whopper nila, sobrang laki. So, tingnan mo, ina-attack nila. Okay? Pero tingin niyo ba, malaki talaga yung ano. Siyempre, being a critical person, try mo naman si Whopper. Tapos, bili ka rin ng Big Mac. Tapos, pag anihin mo sila, pagtabihin mo rin, di ba? Kung totoo nga. Kasi minsan, ang late talaga nung sa Makdo. Akala mo, biggest na, late pa rin. Tapos, tingnan mo rin. Siyempre, minsan, kahit ang laki nga, yung taste naman, different, di ba? Mas masarap naman yung, yung Makdo. Halimbawa lang, kahit maliit siya, masarap naman. Malaki nga siya, di naman masarap. So, dun pa lang, as a, ano, as a viewer, or as a citizen class, ikaw pa, you know your standpoint, di ba? May point of view kang sarili dyan, ganun. Okay? Next. Okay, next is glittering generalities. Glitter, glitter. Alam niyo glitter, di ba? Nagsishine, shine, shine, di ba? When we say glittering generalities, generalities naman is general, di ba? You give in because you are overwhelmed. Okay. Na-convince ka because you are overwhelmed by vague. Vague means, ano, uh, not clear. Okay? Vague. 
as uh, vague sweeping statements that usually come in slogans or simple catchphrases. So, para ma mabulaklak na salita, class, yung mga glittering words, ayan. Include hope, change, possibility, justice, and others that give off an extremely positive vibe. Okay? Okay, yan. Mga pleasing to your ears. Pag narinig nyo palang, ay, ang sarap pakinggan. I want this. I like this. Example nito, L'Oreal. Because you've worked it. Dahil feeling mo, I'm, I'm worth it. Ganun ka. Gamitin mo yung product. Okay? Use fancy words. Okay? Gumagamit ng mga fancy words para makonvince ka. Okay? Next. Glit. Ito pa. Halimbawa nito. Ng ano, glittering generalities. Sabi niya, things go better with coke. O dahil feeling mo in bad mood ka ngayon dahil things go better with coke, ano gagawin mo? Inom ka ng coke, di ba? So, para daw mas maging happy ang family, ang dinner, ang lunch, laging may coke ko. So, ngayon, gayahin mo din. Bili ka rin ng coke. Tapos, feeling mo, na-convince ka niya. Tama? Dahil sa glittering words niya. Dahil sa mga words na ginamit niya. And the emotional response. Creamy, dreamy, icy, chocolatey. Ah, pandinig mo pa lang. Yummy na. So, you will try it. Di ba? Next, technical jargon. Pag sinabing jargon class, ito yung mga terminologies, mga words na mga specific professionalities. Halimbawa, sa ano, sa medicine, pag sinabi niyang gastro, gastro, gastrotritis or gastro. When we say gastro, ibig sabihin that's stomach. Stomach lang naman yun, pero dahil uh, jargon word siya ng medicine or medical term, uh, ano siya, gastro, ganon, okay? And sa engineering din, may sarili rin silang mga technical words doon, mga terminologies sa mga pulis. Meron din silang mga terms na hindi natin naiintindihan ng mga ibang tao na sila-sila lang nakakaintindi unless na-explain sa'yo, right? Okay, next. Okay, it does not really explain, class, it does not sa, ano, sa mga ganitong klaseng propaganda, it does not really explain how it is connected with what is being promoted. So, hindi mo alam kung connected ba, pero dahil, dahil na influence yung decision making mo, nung jargon words na yon, nung mga unfamiliar words na yon, or mga terminologies na yon, na-convince ka. Example, eto, two-in-one isotonic, gumaganan siya. May isotonic. Eh, ano ba yung isotonic? Ibig relating to, ano lang naman to eh, muscular. O, ayan. Kaya pala nakaganon yung kamay niya. Nakaganon. Muscular. <laughs> isotonic. Yun lang naman pala yun. Dahil, impress ka dun sa isotonic, bumili ka rin yan. Na-convince ka niya. O, ito pa. Ano ba to? Zen mosaic. Ano ba to? Ojo. Parang iPad. Ito naman, Yakult. O, sabi niya, 8 billion lactobacillus. Sabi niya, lactobacillus. Ano kaya yun? Yung pala, yung lactobacillus lang naman na ginapit. Ang ibig sabihin lang naman ng good bacteria. O, pinahirapan ka pa sa spelling, lactobacillus. 8 billion lactobacillus. Okay, next. Powerful words. etong powerful words, it's like, ano eh, similar to glittering words, di ba? It uses either pleasant or hideous sound. Okay, pleasant. Alam niyo naman yung pleasant, hideous sound. Alam niyo na rin yan. To either lure or drive people away from something. Powerful words. Okay, sabi niya, thicker, stronger hair in 14 days. Wow. Is it true? Ako nga naniwala dito eh. Bumili pa akong fan, ano, pantin. Kasi gusto ko kumapal yung hair ko and then maging strong. In 14 days, wala naman nangyari. O, diba? Sometimes the consumers, dapat tinatry nyo din eh, diba? Sa ibang tao, probably effective. Sa iba, syempre, iba-iba naman tayo ng ano, experiences. Halimbawa to cynical, effective resistance against obesity. O dahil ayaw mong tumaba, eto yung gagamitin mo. Two times better cavity, protection, Colgate. Okay. Minsan nga, lahat ng toothpaste, Colgate na tawag mo. Eh. Pabili pong Colgate, yung ano po, yung happy. Okay, pabili pong Colgate, yung ano po, close up. Kasi very ano ka, very bilib ka sa Colgate. Pero syempre, toothpaste tawag mo dyan. Brand naman yung Colgate Happy or tooth, ano yun? Uh, close up. Okay? Next. Powerful words yan na. Two times better. Ibig sabihin, yung gamit mo, 
regular pa lang yun. Itong Colgate, two times na, two times better. O, syempre, saan ka pa? Sa, sa regular lang or sa two times better? So, na-convince ka ngayon, ay, gusto ko to two times better. Eh, bakit ako yung Colgate na gamit ko, five years ko nang ginagamit, yung whitening for whitening teeth, parang hindi na ako pumuputi yung ngipin ko. Five years na yun, na Siguro kailangan ko na mag-change, no? Binsan, di ba? O, di ba? Na, ano tayo? May influensyahan the way we think. Next, appeal to fear. Appeal to fear. It scares or frightens consumers or the people to so that they will either patronize or avoid the product or service. Kasi ang propaganda class, ang sinesell niyan, ang binibenta niyan, yung product or yung service, ha? Halimbawa, yung cigarette, nakalagay naman dun na cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. It will, it can cause cancer, ganun. Bakit kaya, no, class, hindi pa rin sila agree na talagang it will cause? Ina may tsura nung yung baga mo, nandun na sa likod yung picture ng baga, nandun na yung naapektuhan yung mga kids, nagkakasakit kahit di sila nag smoke because they can smell the smoke, di ba? Pero maraming consumers, marami pa rin mga buyers. So I guess, I think, in my standpoint, in my point of view, kayo, in your point of view, Daniel, bakit kaya? Bakit kaya ano? They will still uh, convince to buy the product. Kahit ano na siya. May mga warning signs. Para po sa akin siguro po dahil nasanayan na po nila doon. Kaya po ayun na rin po binibili nila kahit may warning na po na kunyari po magkaka-cancer ka po kapag kapag ginamit mo po 'yon. Mm -mm. Okay, that's Daniel's point of view. What about syempre it depends on your point of view. Diba? Kaya nga tayo may point of view, your stand. Okay? Kung you know, you know naman, mas emotional ka na you don't want to uh, to get those kind of diseases, yung mga cancer, yung mga ba sakit sa baga, TV, diba? tuberculosis, and to affect those little kids, syempre, you won't do, you won't do it. Diba? Kaya nga ngayon, class, eh, if you are going to smoke, there is a certain place for you to smoke. Sa mall, hindi na pwedeng saan-saan. Sa public places, you are not allowed to do that. May mga certain places na lang para sa kanila. Alright? Ako nga, pag nakakaamoy ng sigarilyo, inaasma ako. Alright! So, that's it. That's uh, all the propaganda devices or types of propaganda we have. We discuss about bandwagon, lane fox. Paano nga yung bandwagon class? Ano nangyayari sa bandwagon? You are attracted and convinced to use a product to, or join an activity because you, everyone is doing it. Okay, good job. In short, bandwagon or wagon pala. Okay. You are convinced to do it because everybody is doing it or using it. Ganon. Okay, what about plain fox? Ma'am, ako po. Okay, Mika. Mika, Mika. 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 Huh? Uses ordinary people as as endor endorsers to show that the product is being used by usual persons. Okay, next, testimonial. Si Alisago. Alisago testimonial. Po. A famous person or celebrity endorses the product to give testimony and influence the people. You are yes. convinced to use the product because the endorser or confirmed by a well-known personality. Okay, that's great. What about name-calling? Ma'am, ako ma'am. Besana oh, po. Oh, besana, name calling. A device that persuades you to avail the product or service because of the negative image it creates an ad against another product or service. Okay. So, direct at, uh, no, you are attacking directly to your opponent. Next, glittering generality, si Raffle ba? Hmm. Raffle? Gumag para po gumagamit po ng mga social kaya po magagandang salita para po maka mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Next, technical jargon. Ano naman yung technical jargon? Any idea? Class, yung mga hindi pa nagsasalita dyan, share your ano, point of view. Hindi naman kailangan you get the whole meaning of it. Yung kahit nga two words lang siya eh, para lang maalala mo kung what what is it about, di ba? When we say technical jargon, sino na? Wala na. Ma'am, ako okay, po. Na. Alisago po. Alisago ulit. Sino pa, class? Sofia, ma'am. Sino, sino? Si Chua. Sige, si Alexis Chua. Go. 
parang gumagamit ka po ng ano ma ma um hindi niyo po masyado naririnig na words mm-hmm. na pala hindi niyo po siya palagi naririnig na words so parang nai-impress ka po kasi alam mm-hmm. nila yung tapos parang uh, siguro po may ibang meaning yun tapos magandang meaning kaya yes. po na pag-aalam yung totoong meaning nito Okay, very good. Powerful words. What about powerful words? Si Del Pozo, nakita ko nag-range, nag-range, nag-raise ng hand. Del Pozo. Asan ka na, Del Pozo? Nag-left sa meeting. Anyway, class, what about powerful words? Sige nga. Katubigan po. Yung iba naman. Esko. Katubigan, okay. Ang yes, lalat lang well. po, ma'am, pag powerful words. May isa pong example doon na binigay po kayo yung parang icy, dreamy, chocolatey na, na, ano po, na parang drink ng McDonald's. Pag ibig sabihin uh-huh. po ng powerful words, parang nakakaantig po na mga salita. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yes, yes. Okay, next. Very good. Eight, appeal to fear. Ito na yung last natin diniscuss. Appeal to fear. Sino? Si Santos. Mika Alexis Santos. Yes, Mika. Mika, what do you mean by appeal to fear? Yun yung parang pong may mga warning-warning po siya. Parang kapang... Kaya po siguro nila ginagamit po yun. Kaya po siguro ginagamit pa rin po nila yun. Para po... Di ba po may mga warning siya? So parang kapag ginawa po yun, nagiging parang matapang po sila. Parang nasa ibang mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. Yun ang point of view ni Mika ha, about doon. So tayo, iba-iba tayo ng point of view. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Galing niyo, class. I'm impressed. Alright. So why is it important to know about propaganda again? Okay, always remember that knowing what propaganda is will help you know when you are or honest information. Kung honest ba ito? Minamanipulate ka lang ba? So, it's up to you. So, always be critical and aware as you read, watch, or listen to mass media. Keep alert for this many forms of biases. Okay? So, manage natin very well. Next. Of course, we are going to have a short, you know, uh, activity. Bring out your notebook and then write the letter of the correct answer. Okay? So, let's start. Tingnan nyo na lang yung picture ha, and then kayo na mag-decide. In 10 seconds. Ay, time na pala, class. 11.42 na. Hindi ko na malayan kasi na-impress ako sa kagalingan niya. Alright, next picture. Ter- ano ba yan? Territaritide Portillo. Next. O, oh, yan. Next. Okay, next. Siguro naman kilala niya yan, no? Okay. So let's check your work. Okay, number one. Nasaan na yung number one natin? Ma'am, pwede ba babalik sa number one, ma'am? Kasi ma'am, ano kinukuha ko pala po yung notebook ko nun eh. Ano ka ba, Jasly? Laging nasa tabi ang notebook, Jasly. Tapos na tayo, grade 6 ka na, oh. ilang weeks na lang. Okay, so number one, ha? Number one, letter A, technical jargon. Doon pa lang sa word, di ba? Alam mo ka agad na jargon na yan. Next. Ayan, si tatay nasa form. Ano ginagawa? Ano yan? Ano yan, class? Nescafe po, na commercial. Oh, ano sagot? Nag- Letter C. Letter C okay, plain, plain fox. Fox. Walang, walang ano, walang L, silent L. Plain fox. Next. Ito, ano sagot dyan? B. Letter B po. Letter B po, name calling. Uh, name calling kasi inaatake niya yung isang product. Okay, Next. A po. Letter testimonial. A po. A, testimonial. Okay, testimonial because of the celebrity. Okay, so score? 444. Okay, good job class. So I believe, ah, and I hope na uh, by learning all this, siguro naman di na kayo madaling mamanipulate ngayon ng mga propaganda. Oh. 
So, pwede na kayong gumawa ng sarili nyong propaganda class. Ang sa services naman class, ha, hindi naman lahat to sa product, ha? Pwede rin to sa services. Halimbawa, you are, ano, convincing everyone to join in the English club, ganon, or to join in a event. Pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili ninyong propaganda about it. Halimbawa, join us, be one of us, na ganon, di ba? Um, so, panood ka ng commercial or any services na nakita mo, nabasa mo, Di ba sa mga services na babasa sa newspaper, sa magazine, gano'n, or na-watch mo sa TV, mga title of ad. Ad means, ano na rin yung propaganda. Title ng propaganda. Sagutan niyo lang kung 7 na to, class. Sagutan niyo lang yan. Okay? Pero ipapost ko naman to sa classroom. I'm just explaining it right now. So, title of the ad. Ano ba yung napanood nyo or nabasa nyo na advertisement? Oh, what is your ad trying to sell? Ano ang gusto niyang ibenta sa inyo? Yung product ba or idea o services? Okay? Di ba sa services kasi, class, yung mga ads ng ano, ng, ano ba, spa, spa, swimming, resort, yan ang mga services. Restaurant, yun ang mga services. Okay? Briefly describe your, kung hindi naman idea, yung binibent, halimbawa kasi, class, ng propaganda sa idea, yung halimbawa sa politician, you want to uh, agree with them, yung idea na to, ah, ipasa natin tong ano na to, yung, yung ano ba yun? Halimbawa, yung isang law na to, idea, ganyan. That everyone will be ganito. Will be ano ba? Will benefit on this idea that uh, the Philippines will have a free Wi-Fi. Ganyan. Oh, that's idea. O, oh, benta naman sa'yo. Okay, click like if you want. O, di like, like, like ka naman. Akala mo naman, free Wi-Fi. Yung pala, pag sa totoong buhay na, you will still pay for it. O, oh, ba Okay, next number three, briefly describe your ad. Siyempre, yung napanood mo or nabasa mo, i-describe mo ano yung, mag, mag, ano ka, mag-tell something about it, okay? And then, intended audience mo, pang, sinong audience ba nun? Pang lahat ba ng tao? Sa nation ba? Sa specific group lang ba? Sa children ba? Sa babies ba yan? Sa dogs ba yan? Di ba? Hindi naman lahat ng mga services and ano product para lang sa tao. Siyempre, marami pa rin ibang specific group, okay? Ano yung propaganda technique na ginamit? Is it testimonial, bandwagon, fear, etc.? It's up to you. Siyempre, magdadepende lahat ng sagot nyo. Doon sa title ng ad nyo, hindi yung paiba-iba ha. Siyempre, naka-anchor yung sagot nyo sa title ng ad or ano yung product na yun. What clues indicate technique use? Katingin nyo, class, yung ginamit niya na commercial na yun or yung propaganda na yun, paano mo nasabi na testimonial yan? Paano mo nasabi na bandwagon yan? Anong technique ba yung ginamit niya? So, explain mo din doon. Okay? Hindi naman kailangan isang paragraph. Siyempre, pag na-explain mo na in three sentences, di kaya na, okay na yun. Or in two sentences, di ba? Number seven, what makes the ad effective in selling the product? So, sa tingin mo ba effective yung pag-sell niya? Or yung pag-convince niya? Anong point of view mo doon? So, siyempre, ilagay mo yung point of view mo. Effective ba siya? Hindi ba siya effective? Bakit mo nasabing effective siya? Bakit mo nasabing hindi siya effective for you? Okay po? So, clear class? So, sa classroom naman natin to bukas. Okay? So, that's it for today, class. And I hope you learned a lot today. So, goodbye, class. And thank you, ma'am. Bye po. Thank you po, ma'am. Bye po. See you next